Hey everyone, Q to Sean here. So, Fig Ground Order JP just announced Interlude Campaign Part 15. Pretty random to announce it today on a Monday. They usually never announce anything on a Monday. Usually have it on like a uh, Wednesday night that they'll announce something new. But um, some of you guys are probably asking why announce interlude part 15 when they could have just announced Christmas. So that's why. I actually think they released this early so that they can announce Christmas later this week. Which again I believe it's going to be on Wednesday Japan time. So um, I think we are getting Christmas this week. But uh, looking at the interlude campaign, only two servants got upgrades, which they are huge upgrades, but um, kind of unexpected. We were kind of expecting some other servants to get upgrades, but uh, let's go ahead and scroll down and talk about them real quick. So Dios Curry is getting an interlude. Uh, interesting to see Voyager in their uh, interlude. So uh, if I got Dios Curry, I would do this ASAP because I want to know why Voyager is in their interlude, but um, I don't have Dios Curry. So yeah, Dios Curry is getting an interlude. Seishonagon is getting an interlude as well. Uh, Padis is getting an interlude as well. Uh, Rama is in the story for some reason. Kind of uh, intrigued in that. Maybe there might be a hint for Sita. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But um, I definitely want to read that one. This one is actually the one I really want to read. Uh, Roma and Boudica. So Roma is getting an interlude, Boudica is in it. So I definitely want to see um, the conversation between those two. Uh, Barcelona Roberts is also getting an interlude. And then here we go, the MP upgrades. So Old Lee Shuen is getting an MP upgrade. Um, only getting damage up and uh, his percentage on insta death is actually going up a little bit. So not the greatest buff, but uh, definitely um, he is more dependable, does more damage. Really hoped for something else, like maybe something added onto his MP, but basically he just gets like a standard MP upgrade. And then Astrea gets a really big one. She gets uh, Pierce, basically uh, ignore invincibility, which is really, really good for a servant like her. I mean, she was already strong and just to have her get ignore invincibility is just insane. So. Yeah, these two um, got MP buffs and they're just stronger now. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. Again, uh, Christmas, I do think they're going to be announcing it later this week. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, do the interludes and do the MP upgrades so that you can get your sync ports. And of course, you can you know get, make these two stronger. So yeah, that's going to be a quick little video there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.